Suppose there is a spider in the corner of the board and if I am asking where is it, then you will say it is in the corner of the board or maybe you will say it is on the left side of the board. So why I am telling you this story because there is a story behind this uh, spider. In 17th century, there was French mathematician. Mathematician. He was lying in his room and when he has seen a spider on the ceiling, then he started thinking that if I have to uh, tell the exact location of the spider on the ceiling, then I need something at that time to develop the coordinate geometry concept. Coordinate geometry. And the mathematician name was René Descartes. René Descartes. He is also known as the father of the coordinate geometry. So today we are going to study about the coordinate geometry of grade 9. Coordinate geometry. This is my plane. And why I am calling it plane because there is a line and this is my breath. So if I am dividing this plane, this is my vertical line and this is known as y axis and this is my horizontal line. Horizontal line is known as x axis and wherever these lines are intersecting, that point is known as origin. And on right hand side, it is always positive numbers. On left hand side, it is negative. Because even in number line, left side, it is always negative. Y axis just above, you have to plot positive numbers. And below x axis, it is always negative. As I have divided in four equal parts, that is known as quadrant, and here we will take anti-clockwise. So this is my first quadrant. This is my second. This is my third, and this is my fourth quadrant. Whenever I need to plot the points on the graph, I need x coordinate and y coordinate. X coordinate is also known as axis and Y coordinate is also known as ordinate. Fine. So first coordinate you have to remember this that first coordinate is always X coordinate and then Y coordinate. And here first quadrant you can see both X and Y are positive. So plus plus. Here x is negative and y is positive. So the sign of the second quadrant would be always minus plus. x and y both are negative. So here it would be minus minus. If x is positive, y is negative, then it is plus minus. So just by looking at the sign of the digits, you can easily tell in which quadrant it is going to lie. Suppose I have to plot 1 comma 3 point A. It means x coordinate is 1 and y coordinate is 3. From x I will take perpendicular. From y axis again perpendicular line. And wherever these lines are meeting that point is known as A 1 comma 3. So it is, if you are plotting it on graph, so it is easy to plot it on graph. If you are not plotting it on a graph, then with the help of a scale, you have to take perpendicular lines from 1 and 3. Wherever it is meeting, that point becomes 1, 3. If suppose, second point I am taking minus 2, 0. 
minus 2 comma 0 means x coordinate is minus 2. y coordinate is 0 it means neither we are shifting up or down. So we are stick to this point. This is my B point minus 2 comma 0. It means from on x axis you have to always take y coordinate as 0. Aapka amesha x axis me y coordinate 0 hona chahiye. If I am taking other point 0 comma minus 3, it means x is 0 but y is minus 3. And y minus 3 is here. So I will plot 0 comma minus 3. It means on y axis x coordinate is always 0 and y is minus 3. Why this is 0 comma minus 3? Because we are not moving left or right. We are stick to this point. So this is 0 comma minus 3. If I have to name this point then this is 0 comma 2. If I have to mention this point then this is 3 comma 0. Thank you.